Introducing the most advanced way to sterilize and dry bottles, pump parts, and accessories. The Baby Bretza Sterilizer Dryer Advanced. With the push of a button, the Sterilizer Dryer Advanced automatically sterilizes bottles, pump parts, and other accessories with natural steam, killing 99.9% .9 of germs. Then dries them 33% faster. This revolutionary appliance has a built-in HEPA filter to ensure it dries with air that's 99.9% .9 germ-free. The Sterilizer Dryer Advanced holds up to eight bottles, the highest capacity of any sterilizer. And it has a unique tray that holds two full pump part sets. Plus, it's modular, so you can use it four different ways to meet your needs. Don't waste time again sterilizing your baby's products in boiling water or drying them on a dirty, non-sterile rack. Sterilize and dry the advanced way with the Baby Bretza Sterilizer Dryer Advanced. Make sterilizing bottles and pump parts a cinch with the Baby Bretza One-Step Sterilizer. In just one simple step, this revolutionary appliance sterilizes bottles, pump parts, and other accessories with natural steam that kills 99.9% .9 of germs. The sterilizer holds up to eight bottles, the highest capacity of any sterilizer. It has a unique tray that holds two full pump part sets. Plus, it's modular, so you can use it four different ways to meet your needs. Don't waste time sterilizing bottles or pump parts in boiling water. Make sterilizing a breeze with the Baby Bretza One-Step Sterilizer. Sterilizer Dryer. While I'm a fan of sterilizing with a good old pot of boiling water, I must admit this product makes it a lot easier. In only eight minutes, this machine uses natural steam to kill off 99.9% .9 of unwanted germs. This can be especially helpful for babies under three months or with a weakened immune system. This sterilizer has a four-in-one functionality. Not only does it sterilize bottles, but it dries them too, thanks to a built-in dryer. You can choose to sterilize only, use the dryer only, sterilize and dry, or just use it as a bottle storage rack. With one step, you can get all that functionality. Here's how it works. First, start by washing all of your bottles and parts with warm water and soap before sterilizing. Then, remove the lid and accessory rack from the sterilizer base. At the base is a stainless steel heater surface. Pour distilled water onto the base up to the max line. Be careful that you don't fill water above that max line or water can end up inside the dryer fan. Then, place your accessory rack back onto the base and add your bottles and accessories. The rack can hold up to six bottles of truly any shape and size plus a bunch of accessories too, like nipples, pacifiers, and pump parts. Once everything is in place, put the lid back on. Be sure to securely line up the little arrow marks. Next, select which function you want to use. The sterilization itself takes about eight minutes, and then there are three dry time settings you can select, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and 60 minutes. The longer dry cycles are good for when you pack a lot into the accessory rack. Once you make your selection, the machine will start its cycle in about three seconds. And that's it. And if you leave the lid closed, the bottles and accessories will stay completely dry and sterile for up to 24 hours. I just love when baby products make my life easier. And I hope this little how-to to add to your registry. 
When I first brought my baby Sophie home, it was high on my priority list to find a really great sterilizer to sanitize the bottles, the pacifiers, and the pump parts, especially for peace of mind. But I also really wanted one that was simple and convenient. Philips Avent offers both an electric and microwavable bottle sterilizing option, two really great products from a trusted brand, both meeting those needs. Today, let's talk about why the microwave steam sterilizer is an awesome, convenient option. First of all, why sterilize? Sterilizing is a really great thing for bottle feeding because it helps protect your baby from particularly harmful bacteria. It kills up to 99.9% .9 of harmful germs, ensuring that your baby is getting what's best out of the bottle, the nutrients from the milk and the formula. Philips Avent Microwave Steam Sterilizer is lightweight and compact, making it fairly easy to travel with, enabling you to always have a sterile bottle for your little one wherever you go. It's only 0.16 ounces. Best part? It sterilizes four bottles in just two minutes. What? I know. That is particularly a lifesaver when you're dealing with a screaming hungry baby. All you do is add water, place it in the microwave, and heat for two minutes. There are safety clips that keep the lid securely closed and side grips that stay cooler for safe handling. Plus, the contents will stay sterile for up to 24 hours if the lid stays closed. It's made of a BPA-free plastic and measures 6.5 by 11 inches, so it fits most standard microwaves. But I will say it doesn't fit those small hotel microwaves. The most travel-friendly? It's designed to work specifically with Avent bottles, made to hold up to four 9-ounce or two 11-ounce Philips Avent bottles. However, it can accommodate other kinds, just not all. For example, the five ounce Dr. Brown's bottles fit well, but the eight ounce are too tall. It also works with pacifiers, breast pumps, milk storage cups, and lids. My only real complaint is that I wish it came with some sort of measuring device to measure the water since it specifies seven ounces for steaming. Plus, as with many sterilizers, the contents can be wet a while after sterilization. If you happen to be someone who's on the fence about getting a big, bulky, expensive electric sterilizer, then a microwave steam sterilizer is a good option for you because it's smaller, compact, Introducing the new generation of electric steam sterilizers from Philips Avent. The 3-in-1 and the 4-in-1. For your complete convenience, the innovative design adapts to suit your baby's changing needs. With three size options, you can always choose the size that's right for you, whether you're sterilizing just a few items or a full load. Then, with its slim, space-saving shape, the sterilizer stores neatly out of the way when not in use. Before sterilizing, wash the items either in warm soapy water or in the dishwasher. The 4-in-1 steam sterilizer includes a handy dishwasher basket for a convenient, hassle-free way to wash smaller items, such as soothers or the smaller size Philips Avent bottles, keeping them secure during the wash cycle. When they're clean, you can place the basket directly into the sterilizer. It's the easiest way to wash and sterilize. Once you're ready to start sterilizing, fill the base of the sterilizer with 100 milliliters of bottled or tap water. Depending on the age of your baby, you'll have different items you want to sterilize. In the beginning, when you're breastfeeding exclusively, you may just want to sterilize some soothers, so you'll use the sterilizer at its smallest size. If you return to work, or if others become involved in feeding your baby, you may start using a breast pump to express milk. For this, you could use the middle size option, with its open space design, which makes it easy to arrange different size products. This size option would also come in handy when you start to wean your baby onto solid foods. At their largest size, the sterilizers can hold up to six Philips Avent bottles of any size. In the top section, load the teats first, then the screw rings, and finally clip on the dome caps. Once loaded, just plug in and switch on. Philips Avent sterilizers use the natural method of steam sterilization, which kills 99.9% .9 of harmful germs without using chemicals. After a short warm-up time, the contents are sterilized in just six minutes. 
The sterilizer then switches off automatically for energy saving and extra safety. If the lid is unopened, the contents will remain sterile and ready for use for up to 24 hours. As well as the dishwasher basket, the 4-in-1 sterilizer also has an advanced display with progress and cool-down indication. This will tell you where you are in the sterilizing process and when the sterilizer can be safely opened. The new Philips Avant steam sterilizers truly make sterilizing as easy as possible. electric 3-in-1 sterilizer and a microwave steam sterilizer, both really fast and effective, but have different benefits. I'm here to give you the rundown on the pros and cons of each one to hopefully help you decide which to add to your registry. So here goes. First things first, here's an overview of the two different sterilizers. The Philips Avent 3-in-1 electric steam sterilizer eliminates bacteria in just six minutes by using electricity to generate intense steam. It's super versatile because its unique modular design allows you to customize the size according to your needs. The Philips Avent microwave steam sterilizer eliminates bacteria in just two minutes using, you guessed it, a microwave. Just fill it with seven ounces of water, put the cover on, and heat for two minutes. Yes, it's that fast and easy. The good news is they both kill up to 99.9% .9 of harmful bacteria, giving you peace of mind when you're feeding your baby breast milk or formula out of the bottle. Both will keep its contents sterile for up to 24 hours after sterilization if left closed. Okay, so here's how they compare. The electric 3-in-1 takes six minutes to sterilize, whereas the microwave sterilizes in just two minutes. The electric sterilizer can hold up to six Avent bottles, both wide neck and narrow neck, plus accessories, whereas the microwave sterilizer holds either four nine ounce or two 11 ounce Philips Avent bottles, plus accessories. So already, if you're someone who wants the convenience of sterilizing multiple bottles of different sizes at once, the microwave steam sterilizer might not be the best option. If you are looking for versatility, the electric 3-in-1 is the way to go. Its 3-in-1 design allows you to customize its size according to what you need it for. For example, use the smaller configuration for pacifiers and nipples, the mid-size for breast pumps, toddler plates or utensils, and the large configuration for bottles and bottle parts. Their microwave sterilizer doesn't have that adjustability, but it's designed to be lightweight and compact so it's easy to store and easy to travel. So, if you don't want your sterilizer out on the counter at all times and you want to be able to put it away, you also want it to be transportable, the microwave steam sterilizer would definitely be the way to go. Although you should know that while it works with most microwave ovens, it doesn't fit in those small hotel room microwave ovens. They are both designed to work specifically with Avent bottles. However, they can work with other kinds as well, just not all. For example, both aren't able to accommodate super tall bottles like Dr. Brown's bottles. Ultimately, if you're interested in the bells and whistles, you don't mind it in your sight lines on the counter and you don't need it to be portable, the three-in-one electric steamer is the one for you. Personally, I found it easiest to have the electric steam sterilizer there on the counter at the ready. So just pour the water in, hit start, no need to put it away. But if you're tempted by that two minute sterilization, which I totally get by the way, and you also want it to be portable and you want it to be lightweight and compact and you can put it away, then the microwave steam sterilizer is a good option for you. Both eliminate harmful bacteria, both sterilize fairly quickly, both you can't go wrong with. Hopefully this brought some clarity on one of the many decisions you'll be making as a new parent starting now. Hello, I'm Faye and this is the Papablic Baby Sterilizer and Dryer. Sterilizing is a great way to protect your baby's immune system during their first year. When feeding a baby with a bottle, it can be difficult to keep bottles clean and sanitized even if they're washed thoroughly after every use. And even clean bottles can be compromised by the spread of germs and bacteria when you use a towel on them or even by air drying. The Papavlik sterilizer kills 99.9% .9 of germs, microbes, and bacteria. This is especially important for preemies, babies with special medical needs, and bottle sterilization is also recommended by most breast pump makers. To use the sterilizer, start by sterilizing and drying the appliance twice with an empty small basket and large basket before you start using it for toys and bottles. We recommend using distilled water in the sterilizer, but you don't, if you don't have distilled water available, I'll show you how to clean and descale at the end of this video. 
Make sure all the parts that need to be sterilized are disassembled and place them in the baskets with their openings pointing down. Clean the items to be sterilized thoroughly. Pour 100 milliliters of water into the heating plate. Then place the large basket on the base horizontally. Adjust it so it's in the right place and then put the items to be sterilized into it. Place the small basket onto the large basket and put nipples and other accessories in here. Make sure the nipples and bottles are all pointing down. Then set the lid on top. Plug the appliance in and rotate the dial. To sterilize, only turn the dial to sterilizer. A sterilizing cycle takes about six minutes. And to sterilize and dry, turn the dial to sterilize and dry, which is the cycle we recommend for new users. Or use extra dry. This takes between 45 minutes to just over an hour, depending on the cycle you've chosen. The indicator will go off when the cycle is complete. When the sterilizing and drying process is finished, wait until the appliance has cooled down completely before removing the lid. And make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before touching any sterilized items. To clean the appliance, unplug it and let it cool down and then wipe down the base and heating plate with a damp cloth. The large basket can be disassembled for washing, but you don't want to immerse the base in water. If you're not using distilled water, lime scale can start to build up, so you'll want to descale. We recommend doing this at least once a week. Lime scale is a hard, whitish, chalky deposit. Sometimes you see it on tea kettles. It's not harmful, but it can impair the operation of the appliance, so we want to get rid of it. To do that, unplug the appliance and make sure it's cool, and then just pour 80 milliliters of white vinegar and 20 milliliters of water onto the heating plate. Let it sit until the lime scale has dissolved. Then pour it out and wipe down with a damp cloth. Thanks for watching. Have you been worrying about how to clean your baby's feeding gear? Don't be scared. It may seem like a complicated process, but this nifty guide is going to take you through the process step by step so you can see how easy it is while also maintaining good hygiene for the baby feeding gear. First step of all processes is always to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. The next step is to disassemble all the parts of the baby feeding gear whether it's the bottle or a breast pump, and pre-rinse them with water. Did you know your sink is dirtier than your toilet because of the raw food prep that goes on around it? The CDC strongly recommends that you never keep or soak baby things in the sink. Now, this initial preparation is followed by the big steps that ensure your baby's feeding equipment is meticulously clean. These are cleaning, sanitizing, drying, and storage. Cleaning is the step that can remove the majority of germs, and it can be done either by hand or in the dishwasher. To clean by hand, add warm water and soap to the wash basin, then scrubbing by bottle brush. Use a bottle brush that drains water well to avoid germs growing on wet brush. The dishwasher conveniently does washing, sanitizing, and drying all in one machine. But it does take longer and have to spend time on organizing and loading. So, choose the best cleaning method for your convenience. What's the difference between sterilizing, sanitizing, and disinfecting? The CDC, FDA, and EPA all have different definitions, and the terms is not regulated like other industries. But in the baby products industry, they are all interchangeable terms for killing the germs from the baby feeding gear. In this video, we will address the process using the term sanitizing, just like CDC. Though the sanitizing process is not necessary for most healthy individuals if the proper cleaning is followed, the US CDC and FDA still recommending the step for infants younger than three months old, premature baby, breast pump user, breast milk donor. During cold and flu season, taking extra precaution to sanitize when a family member is sick can also help rest of the family stay healthy. There are four methods of sanitizing feeding gear depending on your preference and budget. 
Option 1. Boiling. Bring the water to a rolling boil, then boil the part for 5 full minutes. Option 2. Steam. There are electric steamers and microwave steamers. Germs grow best in warm and moist environments. Unless you plan to relocate the gears for drying right after, we strongly recommend buying a steamer with built-in drying function. Another elective option is UV sanitizing. If none of the above methods are available to you, you can try the last option. An EPA-registered food contact disinfectant safe bleach. Add two teaspoon to one gallon of water and submerge for two minutes. Remove with clean and hand to dry. No rinsing. Remaining bleach will break down as it dries. Also, keep in mind, not all feeding gears can withstand high temperature method such as boiling or steaming. Read the user manual of the feeding gear before you decide on a method. Next step is drying. A wet environment is favorable for germs growth. It's best to dry the gears in the shortest time possible. If you choose to clean by dishwasher at the beginning, you should always opt for the drying function too. Drying rack is the most common option, but it does take longer to dry and do you notice what is going on around the drying rack? The dust in the air? The raw meat liquid splashing all over? Or that nasty cough from the cold? Though drying rack is the most cost efficient and widely used option, do keep in mind to place the drying rack where it is safe from all cross contaminations. The best option for drying is to use an electric sanitizer that has a built-in dryer which will also double as storage for 6 to 8 hours, making it efficient as well as reducing chances of contamination. CDC is discouraging hand drying as it increases the chance of cross-contamination. The final step is storing. Proper storage maintains the sanitation and prevents cross-contaminations. If using a drying rack or the dishwasher, once the baby feeding gears have dried, shift them to a clean food storage container or new food storage bag. Make sure everything is completely dry before shifting it to a closed box to prevent the growth of mold and bacteria. Life can be crazy busy. Behind every super parent, there's a smart and simple solution. Introducing an unique one-of-a-kind sanitizer worth investing in is the Wabi Sanitizer that functions as a 3-in-1. It takes only 45 to 60 minutes to dry, with optional sanitizing and additional 6 to 8 hours of storage function to maintain the sanitary state. Not only does it make your life easier with just one press of a button, it also frees up your counter space to accommodate other important tasks, like cooking preparation and crafting. Every product has its pros and cons. Pick a method that works best for your time, budget, and lifestyle. No matter which method you choose, you should always be proud of the fact that you are giving your absolute best. Product safety is the number one concern when choosing a baby product. With so many brands offering the similar products, it can be hard to pick. The easiest way to tell is to check to see if the brand is shipped and sold by the big retailers directly, and not via an unknown third-party seller. Big retailers go through an extensive qualification process with their suppliers to ensure the products they bring in meet the quality, liability, and regulatory compliances. With the steps recommended, it can easily seem as overwhelming chores. Following these steps, ensure the safe feeding gear handling for your little one. It is what will maintain the health of the baby's first few months or years to come. All thanks to your efforts. That's it for now, and happy feeding!